So today I'm going to be showing you a little CSS hack for Squarespace that will help you go from your carousel gallery looking something like this to looking something like this. And this is in the Wexley template. So this is for Squarespace version 7.0. But I also have a hack that's very similar but slightly different that works the same way and it's for Squarespace 7.1. So if you have a gallery that looks something like this with your images butted right up next to each other and you think it, there needs to be something separating the images, you can get it to look like this. And I'll also show you exactly how to customize these to make it look your own. So the way that I did this was actually pretty simple and I will paste the code below so that you can paste it into your CSS editor and then customize it however you want. So if you're in Google Chrome, you can always right click anywhere on a website and click on in inspect here and you'll get a little pop up. It might be in a new window, but it's the same either way. And once it loads, you'll see all the code that's going on on your site. And this is where you can pull the element that you want to change in your CSS editor in Squarespace. So right here, when I highlight over this, uh, the title of this element, it will also highlight the page, what, you know, what element that correlates to. So I'm going to highlight it so you can see. It sort of says, like, if you read it with, like, your English brain, you can tell that it's, like, Squarespace, gallery, design, strip, slide. And that's pretty clear that it's, like, you know, a slideshow strip of images or however you want to interpret that. But you can tell this is what you need to pull from your website to customize it. So let me show you the full block of code um, that I came up with to get it to look like this. This is, again, this is for Squarespace 7.0, and in a minute, I'll show you how to do it in the newer version as well. So in both versions, you go to Design, Custom CSS, and this is where you'll put the code that I have pasted below for you. So this is that same title of that element that we got from the Inspect tool in Google Chrome just a second ago. And then from there, what I did was I said, padding to the right of the image is going to be 10 pixels. Padding to the left of the image is going to be 10 pixels. Zero padding on the top and the bottom. And then we're going to add a border to the right of the image, which is this vertical line right here. It's only going to be one pixels, and it's going to be a solid line. And this is the color we want it to be. And this is just a hex code for a light gray color. So let me show you how you can customize this. First things first, let's say you don't want this line in here at all. You just want white space between the images. Okay, get rid of this line of code and you're good to go. From there, you can make this space in between the pictures as big as you want by changing this number of pixels right here. So let's say we wanna do like 40 pixels. There you go, that's a lot more space. And you can obviously make that however you want. Just make sure that the padding on the top and the bottom stays at zero so you don't have any like um, misalignment with all of these things and it just comes together in like one clean block of a gallery. Okay, anyway, let's insert that line back in and let's say you only want like a line in between them or like a border. So let's get rid of everything that says padding. And then, so that the border shows up a little bit more, we can make it like 10 pixels. And then we can also change this color here. Let's say we want to do um, orange. Well, you can put in a hex code for the specific color of orange that you want, or you can actually just type orange. And there you go. So as you can see, it's really simple to, um, customize and make your own. All right, so let's go into um, Squarespace 7.1 and look at it. So you can see like they've kind of changed the way that they've done these gallery blocks here. So let's inspect it really quick, just like we did before. 
and see what this item is now labeled as because it's not going to be called the exact same thing in this new version of Squarespace. We're still waiting for it to load. Okay, here we go. So it's right here and you can see it says dot gallery dash real dash item space IMG. Obviously, again, with your English brain, you can kind of tell what that's referring to, right? So we're just, we're literally just going to copy this, paste it in our CSS editor and go from there. And uh, let's see, so once again, you'll go to design, custom CSS, and here's the block of code that I'm gonna give you. Okay, so what's different about it in 7.1 well, obviously the item title is different, but even from there, it's gonna be margin to the left 10 pixels and then just overall padding 10 pixels. And that's why you wanna specify that you don't want any padding on the top and the bottom. Now, why does it behave that way? I'm not sure. <laughs> but this is how I was able to get it to function in the same way as it did in the previous version of Squarespace. So anyway, once again, you can get rid of this border altogether if you want to. And the great thing about the margins and the padding is it's always gonna be transparent. So it'll be the same color as the color of your background on your site, okay? But let's say that you wanted like um, a white, a clean line of white space in between the images and nothing else. Well then we would get rid of the margins and the borders and then we can make this solid white line. Let's say we want it to be like 50 pixels. That's a bit much, right? <laughs> what about 20 pixels? That looks pretty cool, right? And then what you can also do, here, I'm gonna make it 10. I think that looks really nice. You can say maybe black, and that's like a really cool bold look as well. So once again, there's plenty of ways to make this your own, and it's something that um, Squarespace doesn't offer in their uh, like normal style design settings. So I really hope that that's helpful for you. And if you do have any other questions, um, comment below or send me a message or anything like that. And I'll do my best to help you solve the problem. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.